I did not make enough bread for the whole stream. It's not even ready yet. It's not ready. Hi, water. No, I just, I just need it. So it takes a couple hours to make. Um, it says like three or four hours in the timer. Maybe. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hello? Where's my music? I'm gonna remember to unmute it this time. So you can hear it. Hi! Hi, everybody! Hi, everybody! Oh, I forgot to turn my lamp on. Make sure I get that good free fucking hope. I, I, my bread isn't ready. I can't share it with anybody. It's me, Hildria. Hi! Hi, Kendall. You're bussin'. Bussin'. Hi, Storm. Hi, hi! How you doing today? You doing one more, bro? Bread the stream? Yeah, I'm making the bread. It's being, it's being made as we speak. Hi, Humble. You're hi? Or are you just saying hi to me in a weird way? Hi, Storm. Hi, hi. I'm good girl. That's a baby, Kyle! Kyle doesn't even say hi to me. The first thing they do when they come into the stream is fucking tell me I'm a baby. Uh, actually, you tried good girl first. I see that. I don't believe you. I just don't. I don't share. But uh, it's probably going to be ready a little after the stream. Maybe it's in a plane. That is true, Baron. Yeah, valid. Valid point. It's going well! You bad, bro? Me? I'm bad? You're good. You, there are two girls streaming on this avatar, right? You wait, two girls? You think two people are me? Why would there be two people? <laughs> How's the party? Which one? I went to a lot of parties this weekend. I did. I did. Did you see on Twitter? I got recognized at one of them. They were like, oh my god, did you see Virtually Loot is here? And I was like standing behind them because I was group jumping. And I was like, oh my god, you're talking about me! <laughs> <laughs> They're always this in the lo fi. My, my uh, Discord is not on Discord. I don't need a help putting a button on it. I can do it myself. I'm getting that bread myself. Strong, independent duck got her own bread maker. Did you see the free? Everybody talked to me, t tagged me in the duck VTuber model, but the co the creator of that blocked me. Probably because I do not see for work, but they what? But I can't see. So for, for whatever reason, I don't know why they blocked me. So just to be safe, I won't like step on any toes. I'm not going to use their model, you know. My hard work is paying off. What hard work? I mean, wait, what hard work? I feel like I'm hardly working hard. I'm trying to get back into it. Hi, good girl. How's your loaf of bread? It's not ready yet. And I see it's your first time here, Chaos. Hi, hi, welcome. Yeah, um, my bread isn't made yet. So I'm making my first loaf of bre bread and my new bread maker. And I'm very excited about it because I've been talking about it since last week. But I didn't get ingredients until yesterday. And then I forgot. And then I did it now. Because I remembered. Yeah, fuck you. Start streaming. Yes, everybody should join my Discord. It's wonderful. Discord.dg slash freshly lewd. There's a good mod and linked it for you guys. My servers are alive and happy. I'm very happy to hear that. Because I... I barely go to my server, I'm gonna be honest. I created my Discord server for the sole purpose of notifying people. That's why it's called Virtually Loot Notifications. But everybody in the community begged me to put talking channels in it. So, I did. Still waiting on hands. Still waiting on hands. Yeah, I also, um, I ordered this... Um, like attachment to hold it in as well, so I'm gonna do that too. You love taking a rest? I just love fresh bread. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my current plan for the moment is I think Friday, Saturday, Sunday I won't stream, but the rest of the 
Days will be my streaming days. You know? That's my current rough plan, but I haven't posted it because it's not formal, you know? If I'm not feeling good, I'm still not gonna stream, so. I'm gonna make sure I can stick to it before I announce it, you know? I don't like promising things I can't deliver. So I'm saying it very loosely right now. So this is my rough plan for myself. Lots of loot in the server. Yeah, I was actually thinking about cleaning my server up though, so I can uh make it monetized. Because there is you can monetize servers now. But I can't because it's technically not safe for work server because people can post porn in it. So if I make it so people can post porn in it, then I can use that. So it's something I would like to do at some point. I was actually thinking about maybe I should soon hire like an assistant, like an online assistant. I was thinking maybe Jaeger. Jaeger always helps me out even when I don't ask, so I feel like being putting him in that position would be very like intuitive for him, right? Hi Tom! It's good to see you! Hi you want to? You totally get that, yeah. Yeah. I don't like disappointing people, so I I like you guys knowing what's going on in my life right now. Thanks for following, Jake. Ah dog video! Yeah, you guys seem like a good fit for that. Get Kira as an assistant. Kira's too busy with her own content to be my assistant. Start the pay at 100 grand a year and I d I'll do it. What makes you think? <laughs> You'd have to be a really good assistant for 100k a year. Like full service. Like you better suck my dick. I imagine most of the chat would let you put them in any position. <laughs> <laughs> that's rude! That's naughty! Naughty! Peggy gets this. Mods only get pizza, don't they? Mods get... They don't even get pizza. They get extra attention, I guess. <laughs> they get to serve me, don't they? You're welcome. Fine, I'll do it for thigh fix. <laughs> Wait, so you you went from initial offer, I'll be your assistant for 100k to I'll do it for thigh picks. Will you actually do it for thigh picks? Because I will pay you in thigh picks. There was no pizza. There was never any promise of pizza. No, mods don't get pizza. No, 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 no. No. No pizza. Hi, Smolza. Welcome to the stream. My thighs are worth 100k. Okay, if you're just being serious, I'm being serious, so DM me. I'll pay you in thigh picks. Fuck yeah. I'm a thigh pick farm. Potentially. This is why you unwanted me, so I wouldn't get my pizza. Yeah. I promised pizza, and I was like, wait, before? Before I unmond you. Let me just... Let me make this promise to everyone else. It'll really piss off you in particular. No, I just, I took, I uh, modded pretty much everyone because I want my mods to be people who are here often. I want mods to be like a reward for, you know, being part of the community. So if you're here a lot, again, Tom, I will, I don't think you even want to be a mod again, do you? That's it, you're cancelled and it's over for you. Don't you fucking cancel me! No! You may not! No. No. How do you duck Texas from thigh picks? Do you give Iris one thigh pick? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hi, Goose. You've been here a lot? Yeah, but those are just because you're here a lot doesn't mean you're going to be mod. I got to, like, know you. I got to make sure you're a good vibe for the community. I like modding people who are really funny and talk a lot. So, like, they're kind of, like, the pillars of the community kind of thing. So people who make me laugh usually get mods. In shit posts, I like you being here in shit posting. I do. <laughs> Was the bread good? I haven't had a chance to eat it yet, so my very fo first loaf is baking. So I've actually made bread before, a long time ago, but I didn't do it with bread maker. I've never had a bread maker to make. Bread. So I made it. Well, I did have a bread maker, but then I broke it immediately because um, I got it from like uh, what do you call them? You know, people don't call it what I call it. Uh, what is, like an op shop? What's, uh, 
thrift shop, thrift shop. I got a bread maker from a thrift shop ages ago. And my first, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm gonna make bread. And I'm gonna make, oh, oh, fresh bread. And so I put all the ingredients in there. And I guess it was like really old. I mean, it was not a thrift shop, so. It mixed so hard, it fell off the table and broke. So I never, I never got to try that, so. Go to the future, many years later, I got a new bread maker. I bought myself a bread maker. Cause I was like, my birthday is coming up and I'm gonna buy myself a bread maker. I am a duck and I want bread. I found independent duck and I make my own bread. I don't go to the park and fucking beg for soggy bread, bread like a peasant duck. I make my own bread. Hi Flaky. Table of bread. <laughs> Yeah, I tried. You all think some funny dance you made? <laughs> I'm always glad to see you there. I would say you're a very core like, part of this community. She's an independent duck who don't need no healing. Cluck! I flee when you duck. I cluck! Boy, she's too powerful. A duck that can make her own bread is too powerful. I grow more powerful every day. I told you guys. I'm a succubus in training, okay? This is even my final form. Wait till, wait till I, wait till I'm not nervous about sex and stuff anymore. Then you guys are gonna get it. It's fucking over for you all. Who's training you? I'm self-taught. I'm an internet succubus. I'm learning from WikiHow. <laughs> I have their contact details. <laughs> the internet is training me. My internet experience. Hi, Will. Welcome to the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wiki. You know, the first time I ever sm smoked a bong, because I'm a good girl, so I never did drugs my whole life. I never did drugs. And then it became legal here uh, in the state. And I was like, hmm, hmm, maybe, maybe now that my brain is grown up brain and fully developed and I can, why don't I try it? And I did. And I didn't know how to do it. I just, I have the wiki how. I watch like YouTube videos. <laughs> very cool, by the way, very cool. Very hip. Drink the bong water. I don't know about that. I've been smoking weed for like over a year now. So you can't fool me anymore. It's okay, I googled how to shave. <laughs> I've googled many things. It's like kissing. You know, when you're a kid, nobody tells you, like, okay, I, I can admit, I practice kissing my hand because I didn't know how to fucking do it. So I was like, mm, mm, mm. But then even like, I tweeted the other day, the first time I ever made out, I never googled how to make out. And then like, the tongue was there and I was like, what do I do? What do I, what do I do? So the first time I ever made out, I was like, I was really young. <laughs> I like licked between their front lip and their teeth. So I was like licking the front of their teeth. <laughs> and I was in a cinema. I was very wet. And then afterwards, they told me I was a good kisser. And like, even, even then, I was like, there's no fucking way I'm a good kisser. Because that was really wet. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to do it. You have to Google how to clean your foreskin. Well, thank fucking God. What did people do before Google? Yeah, let's clean their teeth for them. Really sensually. Uh, <laughs> they kiss. Yeah, my first kiss. Mm-hmm. You know, but some people never like. I I used to date, like I used to have a sugar daddy, right? And he was like a law partner, and he was like an older guy, right? But like when we made out, he would like try to eat my face, like like wrap both of his lips around my lips, like like eat me. And at first, I was just trying to be like subtle about it, like try to subtly tell him that he's the very wet kisser, by like visibly wiping my face in front of him. <laughs> you guys are like wet. You got. 
he, w he was really into like sticking his tongue into my mouth and just like holding it there for some reason. But usually when people do weird things like that, it's because they like it being done to them. So you know what I did? I stuck my tongue in his mouth and just like fucking held it there. And he loved it. He fucking loved it. <laughs> You're going there. Yeah. How's it going? It's going well, Steel. How's it going with you? I did also research how to kiss on the internet. I didn't know people did it without Google. Yeah, what did people do before Google? Just like trial and error, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was really into licking my butthole too. And it, it does like nothing for him. Am I allowed to talk about this on Twitch? I, I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't hate it. It was just like, just like I'm like there on all fours and like, huh. I'm getting my butt hold up right now. I'm just like waiting. Just like. <laughs> Is it education? Okay, I won't say anything more. <laughs> I was educational. I was educating. Do you need to Google how some people like their butthole licks? Personally, it feels like nothing. So it's like imagine your elbow getting licked. That's what it felt like for me. So it's like I felt like I hated it. He really liked it, so I'm like, eh, I'm a pleaser. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Reality proof will be good. Hi, Quentin. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> My bad! I'd be good. I'd be good. I'm good. So, um, non butt related topics. Uh, d did you have a good day today? What's up? <laughs> you know, um, so I've been. Mm. You know, I haven't really been tweeting as much of what I've been doing day to day. And I think it's because I've been journaling a lot more. Because I know it's good for me. And, um, because I've been doing it so consistently lately, I've been able to recognize more patterns in my behavior. And I noticed days that, um, that when I wake up, I immediately go for a walk or do something very active. You know, they always... I end up being better days because I've started. Okay, so at the start of every entry, I write down the date, of course. Um, I write down if I'm high because I'm trying to learn to moderate that. So I just record everything. I yeah, write down if I'm high. I write down my mood, and I write down um, like things I've achieved during the day. Are there any topics not butt related? Mm, true. Everything goes ba down back to the butt. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I noticed days that I start my day very active are days where my mood number is higher. And I get more done. So, that's how I started my day today. Mention journaling help it out. Yeah, I mean, I've, or I've always journaled. I love writing. Well, at least I used to. I don't... Honestly, the only writing I really do now is like my journaling. But I used to, I thought when I grew, I grew up, I'd do something in writing, maybe. My dad's fine work gym, dealing with family problems. Ugh, family problems. Fuck those, right? I'm doing well, Tim Deal. I just think I started my day off really well, so I'm feeling good. Should I just see my own work in the morning? Yeah. I do things while waking up, taking a break, do some things right before workout. Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of it's kind of nice. Like when you're exercising while you're not really even awake, it's kind of you can just like fucking be half asleep and do it. Cause it's just your body moving. You don't need to use your brain. 
I need to find and get motivation to someone. I haven't been able to get things done recently. Well, someone who um, struggles with that too, uh, I suggest starting off like really insignificantly small. So when I want to start a new habit, what I do is I start by doing it in the easiest, like, I'll give, if I want to what if I want to exercise more, I will say all I have to do every day is five sit-ups. And five sit-ups to me, in my head, it's so insignificant that it's so easy to do. So if I do five sit-ups a day and I, that's it, okay, I'm good. Yeah. And I'll eventually get to the point where five sit-ups is so easy that I'm like, okay, well, I'm down here. I'll just do like 20, you know, and I work my way up like that. But I keep my goal the same. So I, my goal constantly remains five sit-ups even if i do 20 and that keeps me doing something every day to the point it gets so easy it's habitual and once it's a habit then i could add a new habit you know and work on doing that and put my focus into that because the other habits just i don't have to think about it anymore yeah hi you're so very funny hi i could run you like you I do things while wake up. Take a break. Do things right before I work out. Yeah. Can you be my new friend? Yes or no? I'll be your friend. I try to stream at. This is the time I've been trying to stream every day. Around this time. I'm working mostly on consistency right now. So the length of the streams will not be long. But um, I'm thinking Monday to Thursday. Uh, this time for an hour at least that that's my baby goal. That's my goal. That's so small that it feels So easy that I sh Why wouldn't I why wouldn't I do it and then eventually I'll work back up to Working more you know? The hab building the habits the hardest part and my biggest struggle with doing anything is that I get very overwhelmed And then it starts a very negative thought spiral for me so, as long as I get started, I'm fine. It's just getting started. These are happy hours. Yeah, welcome to Haziel's happy hour. There's no alcohol, but we have a good time and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. No, I get I get very overwhelmed because I feel like I should be doing more. But like something I have to constantly remind myself every day is that nobody benefits from my actions except for me, really. I really, I think I do need to start. Maybe for my birthday instead of, you know how I wanted to get that, um, you know how I wanted to get like a fucking keychain? Barely remember, I tweeted it the other day. I think I might have deleted it by now, cause it's a bit personal and I was like, mm, I don't know I want this permanently up there. But I was like, maybe instead of that I'll get like a new phone because I kind of, I think I need one at this point. My face tracking, uh, I do rely on my iPhone and this one's a bit dated now and gets overheated very easily. Like it hasn't even been an hour and I'm already seeing some lag. So I've troubleshooted with my computer. My computer is completely fine. It's just the phone. There's nothing else running too. Yeah, I went on keychain, but it's more of the symbolism that means a lot to me. Like practically, I think a phone maybe would be a better gift for me as well. You know, because it's, it's good for work too. Mm hmm. A keychain. Cute. Yummy. This is a special keychain though. It's like symbolic for me. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? When I hear Bodhi, I think of have you guys ever seen Clarence? It's this children's cartoon, but it's like. Goofy and cute and funny. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, this phone I use day to day. No, yeah, uh, this phone I use day to day as well. But I don't really use my phone at all for, you know, work. 
like Discord or Twitter or it's only VL account, you know? You like my voice? Thank you. Which voice do you like? Which one would you like me to do for you? You have more brothers and celebrities who's brightest at the keychain. Yeah. Wait, is the phone related to the keychain? Oh, no, I was just thinking, um, a birthday gift for myself. My birthday is on 420. It's coming up! You guys gonna get me something for my birthday? I like art. What if you wanna get me gift art for my birthday? That'll make me so happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I plan something for my birthday. I just don't know what. <laughs> oh. Um, I think Bunny, are you gonna come visit for me? I was. Oh, I, I spoke to Opai about about it because I saw it in the group chat. You can come, but. I don't know if I want your baby staying at my house. And I didn't know how to say that. Um, so I'm telling you now. But I would like you there if you'd like to come. <laughs> your hands are free birthday gifts. I mean, they're only thing. Ah. Ah. I want to have hands for my birthday. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Does AI draw an art count? I I like AI art gift art, but um I don't know if it counts as a gift. Yeah. I think we get her to find me, baby. I'll just come and see you and the girls say yeah. Yeah. So for my birthday, I think I'm gonna have a couple of my YouTuber friends over for my birthday, and I want to do a birthday stream. And I guess you can say hello. And they probably fuck around my model. <laughs> that could be fun. Your birthday's after mine. Why don't you tell chat what kind of art you would like to see for your birthday? I like pretty high quality art. Art of my OC. Art of me. This. We. This. We. You can just Google virtually load um, reference sheet for character sheet. It should come up. I've tweeted it a lot. I think it's also my pin post if you click the replies. Yeah, Bunny had a baby. She has a baby, so now she's a MILF. You know she let me taste her breast milk? We were in Vegas late last year for LoodTuberCon and she let me suck that titty. I tasted her breast milk. It was very sweet. Hi Griff. Cute action, <laughs> not safe for work. Um, all of the above. As long as it's high quality art, I'll be very grateful. Hi Shadow. Giga Chad in the house. Hi first time Chatter. Is he even sweeter now? Your boobs are probably big enough that you can like push it up and like do a little, you know? How's the bread coming along? It's baking. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. It's currently in my machine, and it's doing. Um, it last time I saw it before I started stream, it was just sitting there, and so it's probably rising at the moment. You know how the bread needs to rise. Yeah. Yo 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 yo. But yeah, I'll be good. But, um, I don't think, don't think it's nutrition efficient to drink your own milk. It's not, you don't drink it for any nutrition. You drink it because your friend offers your her breast milk to you, and that's a once in a lifetime opportunity, okay? How often is somebody going to be like, hey, friend, would you like to drink breast milk straight from my titty? If somebody offers that to you, you say fucking yes. You say yes. <laughs> How many times in my life am I gonna be offered that opportunity? I don't even have to be into it. Like I just, I just want to do it to say I have. <laughs> drinking from yourself. Wouldn't it? Is it weird to drink it from yourself? I 
feel like that. Why would it? Wouldn't it be less weird? Would it? Is it weirder to drink breast milk you've made yourself, or is it weirder to drink cow milk, which is milk made for a baby calf? Think about it. You don't like it. Yeah, but you gotta try it just to try it. Milk is milk. Yeah, I personally drink oat milk, though I did milk buy um regular cow milk for the bread because that's what it asked for. But I usually just drink oat milk. Hey Shadow Dongo, how are you doing? Rat milk? You drink rat milk? <laughs> Fuck! You know what? I would try rat I would try every food. At least once. As long as it was like not something I wouldn't try whale, for example, or a dolphin. I I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Also, I wouldn't do like sh shark fin soup. I don't I don't think I would do that. Anything that's like endangered or something. I I wouldn't. But goat milk is not that unusual, is it? I don't think I've ever had it though. Would I try Insect brochettes. What's the insect brochettes? Brochette? Brochette? Like a brochet? Brochet? Paper? Bug paper. Have I had bug paper? No. You're in South Africa. Wow! International, huh? Uh -uh. No, I won't, I won't eat anything endangered. Not intentionally. If somebody puts a shark in my mouth and I'm chewing, that, that's not my fault. Cockroach milk? There is no such thing as cockroach milk, is there? Wait. Is cockroach milk real? Uh, what? Wait, what is from this milk? milk is a milk-like protein-rich crystalline substance produced by cockroaches of the Diplotera punctata species. It serves as nutrition for their young, but humans can harvest this milk by killing female cockroaches and extracting it from their mid-gut. scared of bugs but like this one time a few years back I saw this cockroach and it was like I what I, I can deal with spiders but cockroaches they're just like I feel big I think my gagging made me feel actually sick. <laughs> oh god, I need water. I feel like I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Don't fake gag, it makes me feel sick. <laughs> I was doing it for comedic effects, but fuck, now I actually feel sick. Pretty sure cockroaches on the other insects that poop. Other insects produce milk? No! No! Don't say that! No! Do spiders produce milk? Let's Google it. Do spiders produce milk? Ah! Smaller spiders can produce nutritious milk-like fluids to feed their offspring. That's not even a spider. That's a wait. Is that? It looks like an ant. That looks like an ant. Wait, spiders aren't insects? Hi, Radiant Slow. Your face check is really amazing, by the way. Thank you! Yeah, I have a little sippy. Yeah, I got. Ah, refreshing drink. 
What are we gonna do with the five gallons of cockroach milk we got you for your birthday? You know, given the opportunity, despite my previous reaction, I'd try cockroach milk. I, I would. I just like a little step, like just a little taste. If I, yeah, like. A little, little, little sippy, a little, 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 little like cockroach. <laughs> I would, I would, I would, I would be. I'm curious. I would have a little. I wouldn't have like a gulp. I would like do it like, like put it on like the tip of my tongue a little bit, like, like a little. Given the opportunity, if it was presented, I wouldn't go out seeking that experience. Though, circumstances be what they may, presented to me, they're like, real. It's life or death to absolutely no one. But we have five gallons of cockroach milk. Please drink it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm open-minded. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm open. I mean, like, I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? <laughs> I would try it. I'm not, it's not going to make me sick. Sick, is it? I just, I, but then forever. No, listen. If you had, if you drink cockroach milk forever from that point on, for the rest of your life, you can say, uh, "This one time, I tried cockroach milk," and you have a story immediately. You're welcome. You're the most interesting person in the room. We kind of hardwired to revolted by insects. Cause some of them will kill you. Some of them will kill you dead. And you'll die. What milk? Cockroach milk? Cockroaches have otters. <laughs> okay, so some types of cockroaches produce a fluid that is like milk for their young. And if you kill them, you can milk, drink, collect the milk inside of them. Right, Aisa? Titty milk, cockroach milk, yeah. 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 It, listen, I, that's, that's how I enjoy living my life. I, I just go through life being like, would this be a cool thing to say I have done? And that's how I became a porn star. I was like, hmm, would it be cool if I could say that once I made porn? And then I did. You got my story. <laughs> We're talking about cockroach milk. Welcome. <laughs> You bother me. Men can lactate. What? Psycho Boy says, actually, men can lactate. When I was in my late teens, early 20s, my hormones were all fudged up. I actually lactated a little bit. Fun fact. What? Did you taste it? Be truthful. Did you taste your male titty milk? Porn? What? What? No. What? No. Why is she barking? My dog has been so naughty lately. Barking. Stop barking, naughty! Naughty! I might have gotten the package. Why are you barking? Did I get a package? It is unusual for her to be barking like this. Hold on. I, I'm gonna put the start and zoom screen on. Ah. I'll just be a second. Boo, boo, boo. What did you? What is that? We're coming. What is coming?
my god. It was just some stupid Jesus thing put on my door. <sighs> the memorial of Jesus' death. What can his sacrifice mean for you? I can't go to church. I will burn. <gasps> They don't know who a succubus. I can't get a church. <laughs> this animation's hot. You like it? I'm glad. Yeah, it's like starting soon, the animation. It's pretty freaking cool. So you're an angel. I am, I am, I am an angel. That is true. I guess Easter's coming up. Should have given it back to them. I came back when I opened my door because my dog ran out. Because she is naughty. She's a naughty girl who hasn't been listening to me lately. Probably because I haven't been taking her long enough walks. That's probably my fault. Yeah, that's probably my fault. She listens when she's tired. When are we going to play Risk of to, uh, I don't know. I've been thinking about, I play, I've started, uh, I redownloaded Naraka Blade Point. Do you guys remember when I streamed that? Like, forever ago? Oh. Nah. Religious people come around here sometimes. They've put stuff on my door before. Um. They don't really, like, push the religion stuff. They're pretty respectful. I think people who are in religion, they understand it's come kind of... Like, when you push something on somebody, it makes them dislike it. So... This is an invitation to their church, I guess. You were not here, Kappa. Easter's your birthday. My birthday's coming up. It's on 420. What are you getting me for my birthday? You ever even heard of that game? It's like, it's um, a battle royale, but it's like swords. And it's cool. There's no guns. I think. Well, there are some guns, but it's not like it's not like a gun game, you know. I only play. Actually, I did. I think I only played it. I used to play with like um, like a bunch of people. Like I played with what's her name again? She's really nice. Uh, she's a loot tuber. Mira Pink, I think. Mira Pink, yeah. She's really nice. I wonder if she still plays. I should ask her if I get back into it. Do you know any celebrities you share a birthday with? I share a birthday with Hitler. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Carla. I love fan art. Yes, yes, yes. I love fan art for my birthday. Who am I going to spend my birthday with? Um, some YouTubers are going to come over to my house. And we're going to probably drink and smoke. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, my birthday is the same as Hitler's. And it's 420! It's really easy to remember. So if you forget my birthday, I will be very sad and cry and pop! Actually, the best way to share that art with me... Oh, you can post on tw uh, the Discord as well. I think we have a channel for it. But also, post it on Twitter and do hashtag VL art. My art tag is in my um, Twitter bio. That's still where I see it. It's job. Hi, I see it's your first time here. What if it's a song? <gasps> yes! I had I've had um feeling like songs before. You know, one thing I would really like is to like collect all the fan art and stuff I have and like actually like archive it somewhere other than Twitter. I do have a drive, yeah, I just need to do it. <clears throat> yes, I do. I love fan work of all creations. I love fan fiction. Yeah, if you look at an archive of my own, there's a couple of fan fiction. Vera's wrote a lot. Like, um, how many have you written? Three? Four? That's fan fiction on me. I love it, I love it, I love it. So please write fan fiction on me and do fan art and 
um, fan music and all of that. I love it all. And it makes me really happy. Yeah. What series do you read? I, what series do I re read fan fiction for? I only read fan fiction about me. <laughs> I mean, I used to read fan fiction for other stuff. But, um, like when I was really into fan fiction, I'd read like Homestuck or Inuyasha. Mostly. <laughs> but now I only read fan fiction that's written for me. Because. No. That shit's hot. Black and gold and racing car. Yeah, my colors are black, gold, and red for my outfits. And then my environments are obviously like purple. I designed it purposely like that, um, so there would be contrast and I wouldn't blend into my background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Kira! We're just saying that you're gonna come visit me for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, hit my mic with my headset. Birthday, hey, birthday, birthday, birthday. Yeah, birthday. We're gonna touch butts on each other. It'll be fun. I go quack, quack, quack. I go quack, 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 quack. I wish I had like a multiple PC setup here so I could have all of us in the same room doing VR. That'd be so fun. You can touch butt to butt. Butt to butt. It'll be nice and good and excellent. Yes, all those words, all those adjectives. That voice is so good. Yeah, you like my voice? What about this voice? Why do I talk talking this voice? Ba 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 ba. Refreshing. I don't understand those types of people who don't like the taste of water. Can you don't hear that? How can you not like water? It tastes so fucking good. I've lived with like people multiple times that like you can't drink water unless there's something in it. That shit is so crazy to me. Can you just imagine how dehydrated they must be? Because most people already don't drink enough water. If you're not drinking water, drink some water, everyone. Hydrate. Yeah, right? How do you dislike water? Water has no taste. How does water... Water does have taste. I can see water has no taste. Like, you can drink water out of a different glass or from a different place and it tastes different. How can you say it has no taste? It tastes refreshing and good. How about water when it has ice in it versus it doesn't have ice in it? It tastes different, doesn't it? Wait, you gag on ice? <laughs> you know what I did to get rid of my gag reflex or like make it better? Started brush brushing like the far back of my tongue, so my ga gag reflex would get better, <laughs> like be less strong. Cause I used to like gag on fucking pills and shit. Damn. You taste sweet without being with like have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and just have like a big glass of water tell me that doesn't taste like the most amazing thing does it not i always have water beside me especially in bed because i get thirsty as fuck <laughs> you had me sweating on that guy you sweating <laughs> yeah but yeah tip if you want to get better at like not gagging you just brush the back of your tongue a lot it eventually gets better. Mm. I nearly spit it up when it's cold. It's still <laughs> unsweet tea for you. I am very thirsty. I'm a thirsty girl who needs to stay hydrated. Yeah. You like water with lemon? I mean, that's fine. I mean, if I want something flavored, I'll make tea. But even with tea, I try not to drink tea with sugar in it. Because, like, once I start adding sugar to things, I can't go back to no sugar. You know, you know it tastes kind of tastes like nothing. And I don't want to add extra sugar. So. 
I can taste it. So long as I'm not constant. If I'm not eating a lot of sugar, I can taste things better. I've noticed that. Because I started eating better again. When you eat a lot of junk food and then you go back to healthy food, it tastes like fucking nothing. Because your taste buds are all fucked up. Overstimulated. Because you know when you even order french fries, you're not just ordering like a fried food. They soak it in sugar beforehand to make it taste better. So you're eating all these like invisible little calories you didn't even know about. I drink honey, ginger, lemon tea almost every day. I hate ginger! I used to get car sick, so I would eat a lot of ginger. And now ginger makes me f feel like being sick. I hate it. Ginger anything. Gross. Disgusting. Yuck. Icky. Yuck. On the other website? No. Which works? That's good. Follow me here too. Mm hmm. <laughs> you know. You can dry swallow. I can dry swallow pills now. You know, you know what candy flavor I really like? I like the flavor of artificial grape. It tastes so fucking good. Artificial like grape flavor in candy is like taffy. Oh, so yummy. Fake grape is the best. It is. Nothing really tastes like grape. It tastes like grape grape. And fake grape is delicious. Who eats ginger flavored candy? Ew. Nasty. Nasty. I like these bananas sometimes. Oh, artificial watermelon. So good too. Yeah, artificial watermelon. Artificial grape. The top tier artificial flavors. Mm. How do you slice your bread for a sandwich? With a knife? What do you mean? Just slice it. Mm, she thinks we're the follow. <sighs> yeah. Mm, I like sour candy. I really do eat candy. I get very like addicted to it, so I try not to eat it at all. Because once I have like a little bit, I just crave it. And I've already started feeling it because my, um, I don't know why, but the neighbors in my neighborhood are like very like nice and wholesome, especially to me. And like one of my neighbors came over the other day, I tweeted it, and they brought me like this little like gift basket of like fruit and like some snacks and some pistachios and some sweets, like chocolates and things like that. It was very sweet and very, very, very nice. But I ate some of the candy and now I feel myself like craving it. <gasps> craving it so bad! So I'm like, I shouldn't have let myself have any of it. <sighs> Your teeth got sensitive. Yeah. I like I like eating something sour candy that my tongue goes to. <laughs> Never had that kind of thing happen to me. Your neighbors sound great. Yeah, my neighbors are really nice. <laughs> Yeah, well, I like I I see my neighbors around because I walk my dog, honestly, and they have dogs too, so we can run into each other, and I guess kind of just built up this weird. I have like this friendship with a lot of my neighbors, but like, not really friends with them. Like I I know their dogs' names. <laughs> I never really paid attention to their name, and it's like I've lived here so long, it's embar it's like embarrassing to ask what their name is at this point. My dog is playful. She's very gentle. I have a very gentle dog. She's very delicious and cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a friendly dog. Yeah, I, but I, I like dog training. So, um... Yeah, I know a lot about dog training, so I made sure I trained her really well. That's what I mean, like, lately she's been barking because I've been a bit slick with it, you know? Like, if I don't have a tired dog, I don't have a well-behaved dog. She's very high maintenance. 
So I need to take her for a longer walk. I told her for a walk this morning, but she needs more. Mm -hmm. She's only a friendly beast when she talks to me. She's a very good dog. She is. But I put a lot of work and love on her. Like I can walk with her off leash. She's very good. She's a very good girl. Mm hmm Yeah. I teach her lots of tricks. Yeah. And I have lots of buttons for her around my house. You know, like voice activated buttons? So she can tell me when she needs things. So she has a button for when she needs to go outside. She has a button for when she's hungry or thirsty. And I have a button for her when she wants to go for a walk too. So sometimes I'll, like she'll remember to use them. And we'll go for like a little extra walk during the day. It's good for both of us, honestly. That's why I put it there. She has a cuddle button, and she has one button that says, I love you, and she has one button that she uses just for ice. <laughs> when she wants ice from the ice machine. Aya! Aya! Thank you so much for using your prime, mommy. Hi. I haven't seen you on my Twitch chat for a very long time. I've been seeing you on Twitter. You've been very horny. <laughs> This is Ayaka. This is one of my first friends I ever made at CL. She's very lewd as well. Do you ever stream? Do I follow you on Twitch? Let's see. I do follow you. The last... Uh, you only have one clip on your entire channel and it's from two years ago and it's 27 seconds. <laughs> so I guess it's been a while for you, huh? I apologize. No, 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 don't apologize. I understand. You have your life. You're busy. I totally get it. Oh, where's my mouse? Okay. Hi, Lancer. How are you? Why? Why? We're back. You're just a part-time ethot. Part-time ethot is respectful. I know you have a big girl job. Just home on the side for funsies. I get it. Mm, 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 mm. Do you ever play um, VR chat anymore? Right now I've been playing like almost every day. Just uh, I try to get my socializing in that way. One of the things I make me, I, I have like a mental list of things I make myself do every single day for my mental health. And one of those things is socializing. So I force myself to socialize by putting myself in a social game. It works really well. Oh, well, thank you for stopping violence. I appreciate that. I haven't in a long time. I sometimes play with Aeros and League, but not much else. Oh. Well, if you're ever playing Aeros, I might be down for one or two. You happy though? Do you like everything that's going on in your life right now? I hope so. I've been thinking about my life a lot right now. And. I mean, like, forcing myself to consider maybe this isn't my dream job because, like, decided I do really like it. <laughs> but I had to consider it because I'm like, why am I not working as hard as I know I'm able to right now? So, but it's something I had to confront with myself. And I felt bad for even thinking it because I feel very lucky to have this job. And I, I went through it all in my diary. But the conclusion I came to is that I do really love my job. I can't. Like, I think about it. And I think about, okay, so I do keep this job because I do like it. If I change anything about it, what would I change? I'm like, I don't know what I would even change. Like, I... I like my job. I like my life. Not what made me realize it's not my job that's a problem. It's, it's me. My mental health is just trash. You don't want your parents to find out. That's totally understandable. That's why I feel like this job is like perfect for me. I don't have parents. I don't have anybody, any family to discipline or anything. I do really have the freedom to do whatever I want. I feel fortunate for that. So I can hoe without guilt, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I could do what I do if I had parents. I'd be afraid to disappoint them. But there, to be fair, there are a lot of parents who are very accepting of it as well. 
seems like, at least in my experience from what people have told me and what I've seen, parents seem to become a lot more accepting of like sex work when you tell them the money. Then all of a sudden people's morals change. You sent me some treats? Wait, what treats? Yeah. Asian parents, not so much. Yeah. I understand. It is completely understandable. I'm so glad you're doing it in a way that you feel comfortable with, though. Keeping on the DL. What job? Well, my job is like this. So I get to be an anime girl. I do some not safe for work stuff. I really do have the freedom to like con create, con create content in any capacity that I really want. You know? But I had I had to ask myself because I'm like I'm I don't know why I'm not. Well, I do. Like I was like, am I not working because I don't want to do this? And I I do because I do it every day. I mean, we're in my own way. You know, I tweet every single day, even on my shittest days. I. I realized I just had to change the way that I am like looking at myself. You know? I've been stuck in like survival mode for my whole life. So I don't know how to like just breathe and enjoy it. You know? I worked so hard to get to this point and I'm like here now and I'm like I don't I don't know how to just breathe. You're Spider Man of Eho. <laughs> I'm like the Hannah Montana of Eho. <laughs> I'm a lewd succubus of streams, yeah. I'm not a character though. This is me. I'm, I don't f pretend to be somebody. This is just me. No, this. <laughs> I use an anime, like this anime avatar, so I don't have to show my face. Yeah. It's not that I care what other people think, it's just that I care. I have. I have um, PTSD, so the way my brain thinks sometimes, it's not rational. Sometimes, like, sometimes I feel like I'm dying, but I'm really not. <laughs> Somewhat related question, yeah. Feel free to ask a question. That's what the chat's there for, talk to me. It's a tree from, yeah, I, in real life, I'm actually a duck. I'm just a duck. Awesome, dude, thank you for the sub. Haven't been able to catch the recent stream. I'm glad to see you back in the stream. You've been missed all oh, thing. Yeah, this is about the time I've been planning on streaming. I will add it back at some point. I <laughs> Don't worry, I, I will add it back. I, I removed a lot of redeems because I started getting um, overwhelmed. So, I, I really am trying to ease back into everything slowly. But you take some time to adjust to your own perception, so just be patient. More like a slow wave, yo. No. It's, it's strange to say it like, out loud, but sometimes I feel... It, it's gonna sound really dumb. Um, sometimes I feel... I don't know if I can see it without crying, so I'm not gonna see it. Let's talk about something else. Did I find somebody? It's not the problem for- Okay, listen, if I wanna fuck buddy, I can find a fuck buddy. It's not that so much. It's just like, I... I don't know. I use Twitter as like, just kind of like, a diary. Just because I say I'm horny and I'd like a fuck buddy doesn't mean I'm like gonna actively pursue that. <laughs> like, um, I got reservations. It's not like I just give it out to anybody. Mostly because I'm shy. If you meet someone in real life, you like him. Do you answer what you ask? Do you do for a living? Um, so the p I don't. All <sighs> oh, the reason why I've been kind of not trying to I'm trying not to meet new people. It's because I don't really feel comfortable with lying <laughs> to them. I've, I think about this today. Like, I, is it strange that I can't lie to people without feeling this overwhelming guilt? But like, I, I feel like it's a bad way to start a friendship by telling them 
that I am not telling them what I do. So I've been thinking about it. I'm like, okay, I don't feel comfortable for my safety telling people that I do not sleep for work stuff in real life. So what am I gonna tell? I'm gonna tell them something that is still the truth. So I've just been telling people I'm a content creator, like a Twitch streamer, which is not untrue. It is part of what I do. It's not the main thing I do, but it is part of what I do. Yeah, I just, yeah. It'd be funny to realize, I don't, <laughs> I can't yeah I just it feels when you start a friendship off from the get-go with the seat like that's not a, that's not a good way to start a friendship oh yeah a twitch streamer is not untrue and I'm partnered here so it is my job it's one of my jobs I have many jobs <laughs> hey zoom oh quack 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 I'm, I'm sure quacking at people in real life is an excellent way to make friends. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say content creator because it's not untrue. I do know a lot about content creation. Um, you don't want to tell someone your whole life story upon meeting them. Yeah, I know. I just, it's just such a big part of my life. I just don't know. I think from now on, I'm just gonna say I'm a content creator. I make a hundred, I prefer keep my online in real life separate. If we get to know each other well enough, I have no problem sharing. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. It's just like, yeah. I just been thinking about a lot lately. <laughs> you have to understand my mindset when I started VL. So right now I'm going through a lot of dilemmas like challenges because I started VL with the head like in the headspace I was just fucking horny I just made some point up videos with some random avatars I found that I liked and it wasn't supposed to be anything so I I started for fun and then I grew very quickly and then I was put in a position where I'm like okay this could be something for me if I chose it to be but that's when I was like around 2,000 followers on Twitter. I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? Like, if I don't stop this account, if I don't stop posting, I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna put myself at risk of being outed. Having my identity outed to my friends, to anybody. Cause I didn't, nobody from my real life knew. Nobody, nobody, not my best friend, nobody. So I had to make the decision, I'm like, how much do I want this? Like, how much do I want to be VR and how much do I want to be making not safe for content that I want to put myself at risk of being outed if I continue to do it? And obviously I made the decision, but it made me happy. It made me really happy. <laughs> it still makes me really happy. But I feel like I'm kind of at that crossroads again where it's like, okay, if I keep going like I, I feel like I haven't really been doing that much but if I really put my heart into the all I, I could grow and I could like I should be going to things like TwitchCon and I should be making connections with people and it's just like you know the next level of being VL is letting people into my life. Um, it's a lot for me. Face, you're braver than me. You have more to lose though, Aya. You have your parents, you know? I don't have parents. So it's like, the what more of what my risk is of being outed is more of just like future opportunities. Cause I only want to do sex work for as long as it makes me happy. And it makes me happy right now, but I realize the reality is if you are a sex worker who shows your face, if you decide one day I wanna go into the corporate world, I wanna be a lawyer, that's gonna follow you forever. And I just, I want, 
the option to choose. But you know, at the same time, by not giving the all my all and putting myself in these situations that may reveal my face, but maybe I make connections who might be able to help me with a business venture later on who could work for me or something and I have this trust with them so I can trust them to employ them or <laughs> something I've been thinking about a lot is hard <laughs> John, thank you so much for this though I really appreciate it <laughs> I hope you're having a good day yeah I caught her in war mask yeah but even then, she's still putting herself in that situation. I, I don't. It's a big step for me. Even just meeting people in life that know I do it. Like, people see you as a sex object. And in a controlled environment, like online, when I log on to virtually lewd and I use any account that's associated with virtually lewd, I know exactly what I'm getting into. I know what to expect. But, like, Doing that in a safe environment versus in person where people know what you do and then will possibly say things that I don't, I, it's just a lot. <laughs> it's just something I'm thinking a lot, so I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's hard to move on to real life things, yeah. I don't, you know. I think you, it's kind of hard to understand why it's difficult for me unless you, you were here at the start. Like I, when I started, I didn't post pictures even of my real life body. I do it now on my paid thing, obviously. And it's like my dog. But like I would post something and immediately delete it after it came because I was embarrassed. And then having to go through the whole ordeal of learning that people were saving that image. I was posting my own thing and then sharing it with other people behind my back. That was very violating for me. <laughs> There's like all these like little things. It's just, you, you don't really talk about as a sex worker, but they're there. It's not like it's not hard to ever them. This, this is hard. Yeah. Yeah, just cause like what I'm comfortable with online is different than what I'm comfortable with in real life, but then, I act a certain way online because that's uncomfortable with people treating me that way in a certain context and then oh, Thank you, Storm. Yeah. You know I've even had people and it's it's really upsetting to me and I don't say anything, but like I'd be talking to somebody and they're like, Oh, you do adult content and then they'll go in front of my face like while they're like talking to me they'll go onto these like illegal sites to look at these sites they've uploaded my nudes and stuff without my permission as a sex worker you're supposed to be okay with it because it happens and it's just a part of the job but it's upsetting it upsets me Welcome, big boy. It happens. And because I'm a sex worker, people don't understand why that might be upsetting. It's one thing if they're paying for it, because I'm controlling it, but when people look at your body, like they're allowed to just do whatever because you've posted it on your site so that means they're allowed to re-upload it for everybody you know sorry i'm dumb yeah it's like a hug sorry obviously it happens more as i'm growing but But it's like I can't even really complete it as a sander, you know? Because every time I do, I'm pointing out that it's happening. I 
to grab a tissue. One sec. Sorry. to complain about it so i don't i don't want to draw attention that it exists i don't want people if you s complain about it people will look it out like people don't care they're like you're a whore that's what you got sorry i never said it out loud before so I'm learning this new part about myself, so I haven't really, because I've done a lot of therapy, and because of it, I can't dissociate anymore. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, because I'm more in the moment. Less dissociated means more in the moment. But uh, I feel everything so strongly now, all my emotions, and that means I cry over like I feel like I feel like I cry over nothing. But it, like, when I think about it, it isn't like appropriate, inappropriate reactions. It's just weird to cry over things though. Because I never used to. Never used to. You're human like we all. Every human can decide on their own what they want. If people are being an ass about it, ignore them. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. You, know, you, you hug me. I like hugs. Okay. 18 months in a row, babe. I love you. 18 months in a row. Yeah. That's that's why me like it's I don't think my life is bad. I think my my mental health is bad. Because like I in the past, like even like two weeks ago, I would beat myself up for crying. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's okay to feel things. It's just really embarrassing. It's really fucking embarrassing to have emotions. <laughs> For real. From the bottom of my heart, fuck those people. Sex work is work. Yeah. It makes me upset too, obviously. I, you know, it's just because I put it out there. I, like, I put out free content. I do. But you know, when it's my real body, like, don't be like fucking or posting it. You know, that's, that's me. I'm a real person. Sexwork has its own, every job has its own problems. Mine are just more emotional. <laughs> I hate saying this, but I think I give you rope. I wouldn't, oh, wait, wait. I hate saying this, but to me, I think I, you, I give you rope. I wouldn't someone normally because I want you to be happy. Rope? What, what do you mean rope? Rope? Hey, we had 16,000 followers. Thank you for 16,000. <laughs> You're quiet. It's good to cry. It's good for you. As I got told, up, be crying is a sign of weakness. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I was, yeah. Let me see what you said. Streamer, uh -huh. what did you say? I got a tear. Big cycle boy, what are you saying to me? You see nine dollars. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Take this virtual hug. Oh, thank you. Bring it down. Let's hug. Ready? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you supporting me. Thank you. 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 69 is a funny number. 69 is a funny number. <laughs> Grapple. My name is Rushley Lou and I admit it. I'm a big baby. Every time I say I'm not a baby, I'm lying. Because I am, in fact, a big dumb baby. Fuck you. Hug. We're having a moment making me say I'm a baby. No, anyway. 
I'm not a baby. I had trouble crying for a good chunk of my life. Not so long. Help me. Yeah. 60k. No, not 60k. 16. I have 16 fault. 16,000 followers on Twitch now. Yay! I got a baby! You're allowed to feel things we only have a right to your emotions. I know that logically. I'm allowed to feel emotions. <laughs> it's just embarrassing and strange to feel them. That was not 10k points, well spent. You're a good girl. Cost it up. That's normalizing human beings, please. Yeah. I hate it though. It feels gross. <laughs> I just want to be an intern, so I guess I don't want to be a human being. I have you. Thank you for sticking on. You're the best. Oh my god! I'm not always all covered in face life. <laughs> Motions are weird. What happened to my music? Oh. There we go. I'm in my mid 30s and I still have trouble with expressing my emotions. Growing up was told that boys don't cry and walk it off fucks me up. Yeah. I wasn't told anything like that. I was just. I don't know. I was, I was a neglected kid. So if I expressed bad emotions, I got bad reactions. So I learned if I wanted people to be around me and enjoy my company, I had to be happy. I had to make people's time better around me. So I, I, I learned to just kind of not feel the emotions. <laughs> Love guy! <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my stream and my dream! Thank you! Oh, I was upset. I was just talking about something that upset me, so I did a little cry. I'm fine. Yeah. I just, I just, I was saying that, like, when something upsets me now, I cry. <laughs> and it's not something I'm necessarily used to. It's something that, it's very new for me after doing very intensive therapy for a long time. So I feel things now. And when I cry, it just. Embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing because I can't hold it back anymore. I can't control it. Yeah, I blow everything going up too. Don't happen. I read that. When it comes to emotions, being shared with people you respect and trust. You know, I just don't want to be afraid. I don't want to be afraid of having emotions. I don't want to be afraid to be myself. I don't want to be afraid of anything. I want to be, like, brave enough to live my life the way I want to live it. I want to be brave enough to live my life with my emotions. Even if they're uncomfortable. Being comfy with losing control. I love losing control. Are you kidding me? I've had to look out for myself my whole life. I, that's why I'm such a fucking sub. Because I can just let go. I have to be in control with everything in my fucking life all the fucking time. Holding in emotions is bad, so it's good. It might be embarrassing, but healthier. It is healthier. Yeah. I'm trying to be a happier person. So. I'm doing what's right by me. And that means crying on stream sometimes. <laughs> Cry in front of people sometimes. I, st I need to get in the habit of not apologizing when I cry because I still do that. But yeah. It is embarrassing to have emotions because it's vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, you're open to be hurt. <laughs> you haven't broken down three years. You shouldn't have watched something sad on purpose. You know, there's actually been studies and uh, I've seen like in like companies they'll purposely bring in people to make their employees cry like watch something sad so you'll cry because it'll make the chemicals in your brain all happy and you'll feel better afterwards so you can seek out content that is specifically made to make you cry therapeutic crying this is hitting really close to home yeah i know a lot of you guys relate with a lot of my like difficulties my mental health difficulties that's why i share them 
not everybody has access to therapy and like all the resources and time I've had to like process this. So I try to share my experience at least. Maybe you can pick something up along the way. Men cry too, bro. Yeah. I never experienced toxic masculinity, but I was still taught not to cry. Just watch Clan Art. I actually have that game. I still need to play it. Yeah, right there. It's good. Like porn. It's like, uh, you know how I have those porn videos I go to when you just need like a quick fat whatever? You should have like a good cry video. Or a movie. Or something like that. Me, I can make myself cry because I'm very talented. A lot of people were taught to feel like their emotions weren't welcome or safe. And it's like, it's like our jobs as adults to kind of like parent in lieu of what we didn't learn growing up. No parent is perfect, but it's our responsibilities as adults to realize, oh, maybe there is this lacking in my life as a child. I never learned how to do that. So as an adult, it's my responsibility to learn that. Learn how to feel my emotions so I can have more meaningful relationships with the people I care about. Quit fap and cry. All one. No, we we'll cry and we fap at different times. Your father was pretty tough about it. Yeah. The thing about parenting is that you have to unlearn it first. You have to realize that you are taught to think in a certain way. And being self aware of the way you think is so fucking meta, it's really difficult to do actively unless you practice. At least for me. Yeah, I can cry at the drop of a hat. I have massive amounts of talent. Thank you for recognizing it, Bear. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's healthy and good to have a cry every now and again. You only saw your dad crying once, yeah. See, the thing is, the thing about parents who teach their children not to cry is usually they're taught that by their parents. They can't teach you something they didn't know. It should be normalized to go to therapy as an adult. Fill in the gaps, you know? I learned like, how twisted it was, yeah. Well, when you're a child, you only know one way. You, you know the way you're taught. And then uh, you become an adult. And for some reason, you're still not happy. And the other people around you are acting differently and behaving differently. And you're like, hmm, maybe this doesn't, maybe this needs to be changed. This doesn't work for me. Hi, Tess. I'm so glad, Zooms! I love my community, too. Despite being, like, a Coomer community, they're very... They're fucking shit posters, But they're also very wholesome. I think Coomers are just happier. Yeah. I mean, that's one of my reasons, Jenna. But also, I just feel like I don't, I don't want children. I've known that from a young age. I need to look after myself. I need to learn how to be my own parent. I can't look after somebody else. Coomers are more open to that idea. Community reflects the streamer. Shucks. Shucks. Yeah. My daughter was the fact that I helped change my mindset. Yeah. I was reading this book. It's called, um, apparently there's a movie made off it too. It's like, it's called, uh, fuck. Find. Unfuck your life or something like that. Something along those lines. And I forgot what I was going to say now because I was thinking about the fucking cover of the book! What was I saying? I was, I was saying... What was the point I was going to make? Fuck! Oh! Um, the first step to change is realizing that you're wrong about something. Because if you were right, you would be happy. Right? Something's got to change. We coom because we care. <laughs> Mental health in general means the biggest focus in society. Yeah, I think it should be talked about more casually like we're doing. It's not really that big of a deal. Like, the more people know about it, the more they can look after themselves. Sometimes we have to accept a part of you is not healthy and begin to change. Yeah. Different perspective is a wonderful thing. It's scary. Change is hard. 
me changing, it broke me down. Like, I couldn't work. I haven't been able to work for a long time. And the reason for that is because I had to change a lot. A lot of my inner working stuff. Like, stuff that motivated me and stuff that made me go to work. It was all very toxic. You have to put a lot of work in to change. It sucks, but humans hate change, yeah. Humans hate change, but it is a personal mantra of mine, and it has been since I was a child. Consistently has been a mantra for me, is that I just want to be better than the year I was before. I want to be... I don't want to be the same person I was last year. I want to feel like I've grown. That's consistently something I revisit every new year. I, I feel like I have grown. I feel like I've grown so much. I felt stagnant for a while, but the last two years, I feel like I've grown. Last year, I feel like a bit stagnant. But I, I don't always recognize all the ways I've changed until... Somebody points them out to me. Dude, that one is seriously insane. The world we're adapting and moving forward is paramount. Humans get more and more against change. Yeah. Well, I think we just want to feel safe, right? Like, we like the sameness because it means safety. Thank you, Bear. I'm glad you've seen it. Do I want children? No. No, no, no. I know I don't want children. I'm not even sure if I can have children, honestly. But it's, it's really no concern of mine. I know I don't want children. I'm quite happy with that decision. If I ever had a child, it would I would be adopting somebody who needed somewhere to stay. Because that's what happened to me. I got taken in by somebody. I would pass that for it. Give them the opportunity. Because I was very grateful for that. I, I believe in, like... Uh, what's it called? Like passing it forward? If somebody does something kind for you, you should do kind for some something for somebody else. Traditions. I'm not very good at traditions. <laughs> Hi, Blood. Perfect mistake. <laughs> I know a lot of people feel that way after they have children, but yeah, paying it forward, yeah. I believe in paying it forward. Welcome home, buddy! I believe in paying it forth. If somebody's kind to you, you should show kindness to somebody else in need, you know? <laughs> oh, shit. I've already been streaming more than an hour. It's been an hour and a half. I didn't even fucking realize I was having such a good time with you guys. This is what I want, though. Th this is my intention. I want to feel excited to stream every day. Which I have been, because I've been limiting myself. <laughs> bread! I don't think my bread will be ready just yet. But, um, yeah, I'm going to check on it. <laughs> he wants my cut <laughs> the whole way. <laughs> yeah, okay. Give what you're given. Please stay with more with us. I can stay, like, a little bit longer. I'm going to be live this time tomorrow. I'm excited to see you streaming. Just do what you need and want to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I just don't want to overwhelm myself. Yeah. I do really enjoy the time I've been setting with you guys. It's just, you know what I've missed? I've missed feeling like I know you guys. Because <laughs> Twitter, Twitter is really good. But... <coughs> I can't really have like an ongoing conversation with you guys. Hi, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate getting that. Thank you. Yes, you do get a boop on my news. No, it's not. Are you ready? You want to boop my snoot? You ready? Can you boop my snoot? Ready? Nobody else. Ah! You boop! Yay! You hit! Yay! for the boop. <laughs> You do both, Madra. Dara. Madara. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. What's the 
send you right over to Heavenly Father, who is currently playing Sifu. I don't know what this game is. Well, it's good to see you all. I will see you all tomorrow. But make sure you follow my Twitter, my Discord, to get notified when I go live next. Let's start hanging out with me, everyone. I had a good time. I'll see y'all on Twitter. And whatever, my other social media. I should really do like a command at some point. I'll write it down. Add it to the fucking list of things I need to do. This bottomless fucking list. I'm still. I had a good time. Thank you again for the top tiffer from Psycho Boy69. Hell fucking yes. Love you. Appreciate you. There are a lot of times I want to have a serious conversation with you. It's really hard because that means a lot of conversation things. It's possible still. Mm. Have a good day, everybody. Bye! I love you! Bye!